I said to my cab driver, let's go Rangers, and he went, wah, 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 wah. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Oilers win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Taken along the wall by Echo. Comes up with the stop. Oh, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position, and once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Kreider. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. And off the face off, they take possession. Here he is. Takes the shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. And they win the defensive zone face-off. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Great read in the offensive zone by Kreider. Here's a chance. Quick shot. Oh, how did he get scores? The captain comes through. You see players taking this shot all the time in practice with their skill coaches. And I'm telling you right now, this is perfect execution. Shooting in stride. Quick snap of the wrist and putting in the back of the net. Got to see where you want to be. His head was up the whole time. Edmonton's come to play tonight. They've been very aggressive to start. And as a result, Cheryl, they got the lead. Typically, the home team has the advantage, James. So when the away team comes into the barn, they want to make sure that they're not flat-footed, that they're urgent, they're aggressive. And to start this period, to start the game, they've been ready right from the hop. And they're rewarded with a goal. The Rangers will play it from the defensive zone. Sends it over to Panarin. Intercepts the pass at center. Great heads up play with the stick by Lindgren. Takes a shot. Point blank stop by Skinner. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Denied that one. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Goes it to the middle, and that's intercepted. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Shesterkin's butterfly effect zone ability is when he makes himself big, covers the net, and still has well down to keep up and make the stop, guys. Scooped up along the wall by Nurse. Good hit on the play. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. And that's intercepted by Panarin. New York's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Edmonton's got the win off that draw. Moves it to Nurse. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. For point blank. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Shesterkin. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Sabina Jack's getting some ice time with this power play, and it's his zone ability that could be a difference maker in terms of generating offense here, guys. I'm going to be watching for that. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now, let's see if they can capitalize. Blocked in front. Picked up along the wall by Wenberg. Gets control of the puck right in front of his own end. And he hangs on to the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. 
Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Grabbed along the board by Yanmar. Here comes the call. Whoever has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. McDavid's known to blow past defenders with speed, which is his wheel zone ability. Panarin's got that third eye zone ability, which means he's fantastic at making those difficult passes to create the perfect chance for his teammates. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Panarin's getting called for slashing. Dreisaitl's team has the advantage here with the power play, and it's an opportunity for him to use his zone ability and maybe even help the team light the lamp. New York's taking possession in their own end. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a shot! Stones him in front. Great read, picks up with it! Misses wide. Gets it out of his own end. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. From their own end, and they'll get a fresh set of legs out there on this man advantage. Puck scooped up by McDavid. Snags with the club by Shesterkin. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. New York's going to start with the puck in their own end. Panarin's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty-killing unit. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference, and you don't. It's frustrating, and it's a real momentum killer. Picked up along the boards by Nurse. Quick pass to Perry. Takes a shot. Great save by Shesterkin. They are really dialed in here tonight. They got a face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James, so the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. Fox has got it in the defensive zone. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Off target! And down he goes as the puck goes free. And player hauls down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Oh, and he slowed him up, and the official's right there all over it. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Great use of the stick in the defensive end. He might have a step here. All alone! Oh, what a save! Dreisaitl's moving the puck through his own zone. Shot! Wide of the net, he missed! Well, you recognize that it's a game of inches, James, and this is on full display right here. This is a great shot. Doesn't miss by much, but it's a miss all the same. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Quick feed to Sabinashev. Great poke check on the reach. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. New York's got it in their own zone. Tries to get it over to Sabinashev. Shot, club save, and an easy one at that. And it's a quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. 
Oh, what a smart heads up play. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Trochek's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. New York's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Fires it on net. That's a textbook save by Skinner. The Rangers get their man back out of the box. An effective PK, you have to read, be aggressive on those reads, and look what happens. They get a ton of shots on net. Great thus far, leading here late in the first period. Tricycles won the draw, and they'll look to set up. With the blast, and he gets down to block it. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Both centers ready to take the draw here, coming up. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And that pass goes off a stick. Puts it on net. Scores! And they make the most of the time remaining. Well, it's a buzzer beater there, James, and they are now buzzing, heading into the intermission. You know that's carrying momentum. They'll have to find a way to start the next period the same way they ended the last one. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather. And they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. A tightly contested 20 minutes to start. Let's see if this continues here in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Rangers really haven't generated anything offensively, and I believe it starts in their defensive end, James. They're not connected. They're not getting exits that create speed through the neutral zone, and their opponent's doing a good job to shut it down. The minority of the shots, but they're lucky it's still tied. They can get back in this game. Fox is able to make clean passes that are easy for his teammates to receive, guys. His tape-to-tape -tape zone ability means the puck doesn't drop or bounce over his teammates' sticks, so they can keep the play going. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Oilers are off to the box. Interference the call. The Rangers send their man advantage unit out once more. Power plays more time on the ice. The ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame. And they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Slides the puck across to Trocek. Nugent Hopkins has it in the defensive end. Let's get the call. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit, and you know what? They are taxed, they are worn down. If this continues, it's all gonna backfire. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Four-on-four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is gonna put some pretty quick players out there. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Dreisaitl. Moves it to the middle! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Edmonton's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Trocek's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the face-off. Henrique's won it in their own end. 
Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Papinier's almost out of the box. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Shesterkin. The Oilers fail to capitalize on the power play. Shot just gets enough to keep it out. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Shot from the point. Tried to put it in the side and missed. Well, there's a recognition that he didn't have much room. Gets a little bit fine and just misses wide. Here's a chance. Oh, and he just had enough of that to keep it out. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Knocked away with the stick by Zabinijad. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Takes it to the front, and that's blocked as he gets down low. Moves it quickly over to Wenberg. Edmonton's got possession at center. Here's a short pass to Perry. And he gets in front of that rocket. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Kane. And that goes off a player. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. With possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save with the glove by Skinner. I'm not sure how we saw this puck, James. I mean, he's screened. There's a ton of traffic. And he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. Still lots of time left in the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Dreisaitl's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Sends a pass over. They go on the attack through center. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's a chance in front. Answered the call there. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. And he takes the feed. Shot! And his goaltender's not going to like that one as he scores, putting it into his own net. Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. The Oilers are up by one, and this is certainly a team that seems to play with more confidence when they're not chasing the game, Cheryl. Yeah, it's always better to be when you're in front, James. I mean, you know that you have the lead. You have a little more confidence when the puck's on your stick, but there's a lot of runway left. They have to play with that confidence, but they have to manage the puck as well. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Puts it on net and misses over the net. Quick pass across to VC. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. The Rangers have it now. Directed over to Goodrow. Here's a shot. No room for that one to get through. Off target, and I'm sure he'd like that one back. Oh, the angle is certainly calculated wrong here, James. I mean, he is in the perfect position to score, and he just misses the net. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Oilers have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Here's a shot. Oh, club shaving of beauty. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Edmonton's got it in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. New York's gained possession. Chance in front. And a stick save and a few. Skinner's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key saves that he's need to make. And it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game. And the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. The Rangers win the faceoff. The pressure's on the defensive side of the puck, but they win it. They score! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all around you that are going to come and close. 
on the draw. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Pass across to Henrique. With the blast! Oh, gets a piece of it with his glove and it keeps out. New York's looking to break out. Slides it diagonally to Trocek. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Henrique. Taken by Perry. The Oilers take it from the side. Wrap around a tip denied. What a stop as he was locked in on that one. Yeah, James, he'd sealed the one post and then recognized that the shooter is going around the goal line and going to do the wraparound. He pushed across and made a brilliant save. Breaks up the play with a poke check. Quick pass to McLeod. The pass out front. And that goes off a of body and a ride. Takes the feed and center and moves up ahead. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Skinner's made a great save and even... Wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. Dreisaitl's got it in the offensive zone. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They've got to find a way to play even strength. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. Shuts them down. Edmonton's got the puck. Denies him again. Just five seconds. Delayed penalty coming up here. 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three, next. Just a friendly reminder about tonight's final option. All items can be viewed in bid along at the display. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. A few ways to play a four-on-four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Too much congestion in front. The Oilers will play it from the corner. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it. And scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. He is such a gifted playmaker. He's got eyes in the back of his head, and it's not just about the pass he makes, but it is so accurate, tape to tape, that it makes it easier for the shooter to execute. The Oilers needed that in a big way. They now have the lead here in this third period. It's been a back and forth game. It's really been neck and neck, and although I felt like they dictated the pace in this third period, it's about continuing to press and really try to smother their opponent. Here's a chance in front. with the stick in the defensive zone. The Rangers' power play goes powerless. They still trail by a goal. Taken along the wall by Zabinijad. Find some space in the corner. Here we go, on the run around. And a strong effort on that play. The Rangers carry it along the wall. Quick pass to Lafreniere. Nothing doing. Scooped up along the wall. Oh, what a chance here! Sends it across! Denied on the play! Oh, wow! Puts the puck on net, and that's broken up. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Nice poke check. New York's got the puck now. Pushes it across to Hedo. To the front! Simple glove save by Skinner. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Oilers are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. An easy glove save made by Skinner. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Sensational stop by Skinner. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. 
New York's won the faceoff. Denies him with the save. intimidating and makes himself as big as possible and everyone knows he's athletic to boot. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Oilers have been handed two minutes for hooking. A little four on four coming up here. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Now he slides it up to CeCe. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. More than half the period left to play. We are all tied up in this one. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Whistle blows, stopping the play. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. tonight, James, but hey, it hasn't been in the basement, right? The Oilers win the draw on their own end. Puck clears the zone. Goaltenders out to play the puck. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Winberg's got it along the boards. Reaches out and uses the stick. Picked up along the wall by Wunder. Oh, he comes up with a big stop there. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Tries to feed it over to CeCe. Tri-Sider's penalty has expired, but they remain short-handed as he joins the kill. Oh, what a stop with the club by Shesterkin. And a nice lead pass to start the transition. He's got a stop. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Past the midway mark of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Edmonton's got possession here in their own end. The Rangers run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Well, sometimes you just have to get through it, James, when you're in all alone on the breakaway. Puts well, he makes a great play, and he's in all alone on the breakaway, and then he gets tripped up, James. This is definitely a penalty shot. Here's his chance, one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Makes a save on the penalty shot. Well, this is huge. This gives momentum to your team at a critical juncture, just making yourself as big possibly he tracks it perfectly and makes the save. 
And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Love the defensive effort to get in front of that. And he makes the save on that play. A shot. Oh, what a great look save on the play. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Quick shot, wide of the net. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about spreading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. You can almost hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Nurse is going to play it from behind the net. And loses possession after a solid hit. Takes the puck along the boards. Here's a shot from a tough position. Made the stop on that play. Grabbed along the boards by Kreider. Skinner's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Oilers win the draw. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Tees it up from the blue line. Made that stop. To Serkin's in such great position, he's able to redirect that puck to safety right to the corner. Sends a pass in front. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. From the point, looks to make something happen. Takes a shot. And he can't find it in. Uh, and I like everything about this play until the finish, James. It's all about creating. That's exactly what happens. And then the puck is looking a little fine as it makes its way towards the net. And it misses. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Sabinajak's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And his teammate comes up with it. Edmonton's across the blue line. Picked up along the boards by Nugent Hopkins. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. McDavid's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the hottie. Take it along the wall by Roslevic. Quick feed to Truba. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Play blown dead, let's get the call. We gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. But they gotta figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Off the base off, they take the puck. McLeod's lugging the puck. Takes the feed from his own end. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Scores! There it is! The go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. On a tie game and you get the nod for the PK, all you want to do is show coach, prove to your team that you can kill it off. But this puck goes the other way. And they wind up breaking the tie by getting the shorty. Unbelievable. Edmonton's got to feel like they've got some extra energy now with that one goal lead here in the third. Well, you can see the finish line, but you're not there yet. So you got to make sure that you continue to press, James. You got to close quickly on your opponent when they have the puck. Don't give them an inch in all three zones. Centering feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Moves it to the middle! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Looking to break out here on the power play. Along the half wall with the puck. Moose it to the other. Scores! A massive goal here in the third and we're tied! Yeah, and they're on their toes now. And they're opponent are on their heels. And this is the critical time of the game now. Based off the set up, they'll want possession. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face off. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. There's the whistle, offside is the call. Getting into the later stages of this period. And it's all tied up. And play resumes as the 
puck is dropped. Fires it! Comes up with the stop. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Trocek. New York's got control of the puck. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Rangers take possession off the faceoff. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Really tough situation here. End of the third period in a penalty call. Going to have to kill it off and find a way to get to OT. I love the 1-3-1 -one -one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Here's a short pass to Roslovic. He carries the puck up along the wing. There's a collision. Janmark's gaining momentum. Slides it across to Nugent Hopkins. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. New York's got him along the wall. Scores! The go-ahead goal on the power play! Especially teams are critical, and this is exactly why you have the opportunity to change the momentum in the game, and you do it with an executed power play. like it is. New York's coaches have to be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lead late in the third. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Final on sounds, and we are all done with this one. New York's quick start the difference in this one, Cheryl. Yeah, in the last 40 minutes, as you find a way to protect the lead. But man, they're lucky that they didn't get bitten, that they didn't really generate any offense after the first. And time for the fans to get in on the celebration with the stick salute. This is a great tradition, James, as they all stick around in anticipation of this salute. A nice thank you to the fan base. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either. So we'll see you next time. And we'll see you